Hello everyone, welcome back to this conversation in Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. And uh, this is my, this is the, on the only response I ever have in this conversation. <clears throat> Sounds good. Off with the armor then. Ha, <laughs> ha, love calls. Damn, she saw right through me. You're so cute when you're bashful. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be standing over here until the blushing stops. Just to be, uh, safe. You know how it is. <laughs> he approves plus seven. And I actually did receive that flower. It's in my plot item, so it doesn't take up any inventory space. But Alistair's rose. A beautiful rose with pe velvety petals of deep red. It was a gift from Alistair. That doesn't look red to me. <laughs> Type generic. Ho <laughs> ho Oh, that's nice. Oh, and that reminds me. Let's see, Alistair. Can you put on the temp? You can put on the Templar armor. Awesome. Epic. Now he looks like everyone else who's standing around us right now. Um. Now, I want to move the Warden Commander armor to her. Well, I guess I can. She'll just have an incomplete set. And now, Lorelai looks awesome. But that reminds me that he may want the nicer shield. And I think that's good for now. We still have the enchanted... Oh, you can use the edge now. Good. Okay, so. And where is his approval right now? I forgot to check. 59. Still care. But okay, enough of the sappy romantic moments. Um, what could all these have to do with the tower? Onwards! Onwards! Yay! At least it's not chest. Okay, so we're officially done here in the tower, but we can come back later, as necessary. Destroyed by Darkspawn? Shut up. Sorry. My roommate is being a smartass. Um... I'm gonna go to Soldier's Peak. And we're probably gonna get attacked on the way there. Aren't we? I guess not. Denerim. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a... a solution. With your leave. The Antiman Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. An assassin? How, you bastard. Logan, you prick. I don't know what to say about you yet, but you're an assassin, so I bet you're awful, too. Zevran Arani. Arani. Whatever. Okay, so right. obviously since I have a slightly full inventory, I think I need to move some stuff over. Um... Yeah. Let's see. I'll move these over. I won't need them for a little while yet. I'm not sure I'll need that just yet either. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um. Probably saw those. Blarg. I'll put 
one of these away and sell the other two. Anything else? I may as well stick my flame, my runes and stuff away. Da, da, da. Small gold bar is a gift. This is the remarkable Malachi. Um, some of these I just won't need for a while. Uh, the white rune stone is actually a gift for Alistair. Waterstein portrait. You will probably be massively surprised to learn who the portrait is for. Well, let's put the stones away. Garnet, quartz, and I can sell the vase. Any crafting materials? Hmm. May as well hold on to those for now. Let them stack. What can I do for you, Warden? I'd like to see your wares. Certainly. Certainly. Um, I guess I don't really need these anymore. Yeah, or these. I should put those. Well, I, I know what I'm gonna do with those. And even though I was already just okay, whatever. Large flawed natural crystal, which I do not need. I forgot about that before, and I can sell these two items. Don't need a shock bomb. I think I probably just caused about half of the people who watch me and have are familiar with the game anyway to go, No! The shock bomb! Um, but anyway, let's see. Aha. Okay. And then, let's see. I don't think Liliana likes us very much. That's Wynne. No, she's still neutral. So let's give her some stuff. Like the Chantry amulet. I... That's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. She's still relatively neutral, but uh, she just jumped up, a, up above a certain approval level, so she'll have... I think it's inspired cunning. Anyway, the Rose of Orlais is actually a gift for Wynne. And she's still, she's still at, you know, seven, but let's see. A generous gift. Thank you ever so much. Mm-hmm. Minor cunning. So, let's see what time have I got. All right. Got a few minutes. Let's waste them by talking to people. Something I can help with? Um, I'd like to talk to you about something. Yes? What's on your mind? Hmm. Why did you decide to come to Ferelden? My mother was from Denerim, and I consider myself a Ferelden. Mother served an Orlesian noblewoman who lived here when Orlais ruled. When Orlais was defeated and the common folk began to resent the presence of any Orlesian, the lady returned to Orlais. She took my mother with her. I was born in Orlais and did not set foot in Ferelden till much later. Mother was always telling me stories of her homeland. I think she missed it. See, I forgot that when you're talking with Liliana, she talks a lot. I mean, even worse than I do, and I'm doing a friggin' let's play. <clears throat> what happened to your mother? Mother died when I was very young. Lady Cecily let me stay with her. I had no one else. Oh. She was quite old then, and she had me study music and dance to entertain her. It is unfair that I have more memories of Cecile than my mother. You were young. It's understandable. Strangely, the only thing I really remember of mother was her scent. She kept dry flowers in her closet amongst her clothes. Small white Ferelden wildflowers with a sweet fragrance. Mother called them Andraste's Grace. They were very rare in Orlais. But enough about that. Let us move on. And she has great timing, because I'm out of time for this installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Hope to see you next time. <laughs>